Go ahead anyway. Go right ahead. Under 6.12.04, enclosures and animal welfare, number two says, the permittee shall provide the domestic fowl or with a covered predator proof, adequately ventilated, and of sufficient size to allow free movement of the domestic fowl. That pretty much didn't make a lot of sense to me. Where are you at? I'm sorry. Um, 6.12.04. Of ordinance number. Okay. 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 I'm on oh, 6.12.04. Number two, the permittee shall provide the domestic fowl or with a covered predator proof adequately, adequately ventilated and of sufficient size to allow free movement of the domestic fowl. A covered predator proof adequately ventilated what? Okay. Okay? Uh, yes, ma'am. So okay. <laughs> Okay, that's one of my questions. Right. That needs to be, that sentence needs to be finished right. and probably or needs to be slashed. Um, so then we go to the last sentence of that particular section. It says, any heat source or electrical facilities installed in a domestic fowl coop must comply with all adopted building and electrical codes of the city of Eureka Springs and the city and the Eureka Springs Historic District guidelines. What if it's not in the historic district? It says city of Eureka Springs. I'm assuming that it meant both is the way it was written. We must comply with all adopted building and electric codes, electrical codes of the city of Eureka Springs and the city, excuse me, of the city of Eureka Springs and the Eureka Springs Historic District Guidelines. What I'm asking is, I understand that it should comply with the adopted building and electrical codes of the city of Eureka Springs, but does it... Does it have to com should it have to comply with the Eureka Springs Historic District guidelines if the property doesn't actually lie in the historic district? Okay. So noted. We'll make that a question. Okay. She's All right. talking. Um, same section, number six. <coughs> Leftover feed, trash, and manure shall be removed in a timely manner. I'd like a specification of what a timely manner is. You know, a day, a week, a month, a year. Okay, mm -hmm. that needs to be specified, I think. Um, and we go to 6.12.05. And it talks about the permit and who shall, where they shall obtain the permit. And then it says, issue of a permit is a discretionary act. Whose discretion? Need clarification on that one. Need also. clarification on that one. All right, so noted. Um, another th question I have down here on number four on the same page, D, where the person seeking to, to keep domestic fowl is not the fee owner. I don't understand what fee owner is. That's another question we need to get clarification. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, when we look at 6.1206, inspection, the animal control officer or designee is authorized to enter upon any premises, public or private, only with cause, such as a compliant or obvious violation, and for the sole purpose of making inspections, I would think we might want to strike and. It should be just for the sole purpose of making inspections. To determine if provisions of this article are in violation. How could the provisions of this article be in violation? Perhaps it should read, to determine if there is a violation of the provisions in this article. That's real stilted language right there. I think it needs to be looked at. Okay, um, we go down to G. It says, the specific purpose of this section is to require full and complete compliance, this article. Perhaps of this article or to this article, without the necessity for or the entitlement to any such change. Notice, any order any owner, operator, or custodian failing to fully comply with the provisions of this article after the receipt of two successive notices shall be deemed to be in violation. Now when we look at B, section B under that same sh section, if the violation as notified is not corrected within 30 
within the 30-day allowance, a second notice to comply within 15 days shall be issued, and a reinspection fee of $25 shall be charged. Now, down here it says, after, after the receipt of any two successive notices shall be deemed to be in violation. But up, up here it says, after you receive your second notice, you get 15 days to comply. So down here it says immediately on, upon, it's saying to me, immediately upon receipt of your second notice, you're in violation. But up here it says, after you get your second notice, you have 15 days to comply. So that doesn't really work. It Maybe it needs to be tweaked. Okay, and other than the horrendous uh, punctuation and so forth in this, um, that's all my comments on that. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Pound, I thought he had extended all day. I did. Okay. Go right ahead, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, um, everybody. I, w I would just like to address the very first cover of this whole thing when it was forwarded to us that uh, our city attorney, Mr. Weaver, is reviewing the ordinance and will bring his recommendations to the council table. I'd like to hear those. And uh, again, I, I know I'm, I'm going to sound like a hardhead, but uh, there, there needed to be somebody here from planning before we even consider our time on this ordinance, as it would be with any other department or other commission that uh, <clears throat> to uh, easily address the, the issues that Ms. Balance brought up. And I had several others, but it's not germane at this time until such time the whole thing is re-reviewed. Mr. DeVito. I'd move to table this ordinance till the next meeting. Second. Motion been made say to table till the next meeting, which would be March 17th. Discussion. Any discussion on that one? Mr. Pano? I'd, li I'd like to hear any recommendations that the attorney has that might yes, be sir. pertinent between now and that time, yes, if there are any. If not, do you have any comments to make on this? Um, I do. Uh, I have looked at this. I've been to the Planning Commission when they were first considering this, and they've made some of the changes I did, but they've left several that uh, Councilman Balance has pointed out and a few that I think are important that you may want to consider that she didn't mention. Uh, if you're interested in those, I, well, I, 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 I'm not comfortable with an ordinance coming to this table that doesn't go through the city attorney. Well, it was just well, it did. Talk about well, it. I understand that, but we're looking at a document that I assume had been looked at by the city attorney, and now I find out it hasn't. It has. So I, I, I'm comfortable with the attorney drafting the document, and I think that's a judicious way to approach <coughs> these items. Um, otherwise, we just send it right back to them, and, and time is spent, and... Uh, I would, thought that was the procedure we were adopting. Would, would you change your motion to submit this to Mr. Weaver for his perusal I'll, as I'll, opposed to tabling it till next time? I would hope that in the, well, I don't, the time is, of, 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 you know, with Mr. Weaver, but I, I would like this ordinance to pass mustered by the city attorney before it reaches our table. Mr. Pano? Well, it was my understanding that he was reviewing it at the same time we are based on the email that forwarded it from City Hall. I, I have a problem with it even remaining at this table, and it may sound like a, okay, I had to do it for the last four years type thing, but, you know, this table has requested worse, easier things be reconsidered by the Planning Commission and other commissions before it comes back to the table, so I recommend you know, if, if someone wants to, to support it, that we send it back to planning. It's been in planning since I was there a year and a half ago. Okay, don't we have a Mr. second? Thomas. I don't have a second on the okay. motion to give it to the attorney. Yeah. No, we had a second, so on the table. <laughs> it's my turn. Yes, yes. The point of order. Dean, you yes. want to say something? Do we have, we have a second on, on table? Trash yes, we did. Okay. We were discussing. We, we do have a second on table in the motion. Okay. Before, before Mr. DeVito interrupted Mr. Uh, Weaver, I thought Mr. Weaver was going to tell us what he had learned at, when he uh, reviewed this. So, Mr. would it be proper for Mr. Weaver to continue his... Uh, it would be proper, yes, ma'am. 
words that he, discussion. before Mr. DeVito interrupted him? Yeah. All right. Mr. Weaver. Um, well, I found four things that I had discussed with them that I thought needed addressed in addition, I think, to several of what Ms. Bellin uh, pointed out. Now, two of the ones she pointed out I would take uh, a different tact on and wouldn't think that there's a problem. But the ones I noticed is in 60802. Uh, it allows 10 domestic chicks or chickens over the age of three months. Um, from a discussion I had with uh, certain chicken growers, three months is too old. Uh, you could have a prior operation set up in town and would qualify because uh, they butcher the chickens often before they reach three months of age. So uh, unless you intend to leave this where someone could set up a commercial operation, I think you, that ought to be looked at and either limit the number or whatever. Strike three months. Uh, in 612.01, it says green approved germicide. Approved by who? And when I asked that of the Planning Commission, I never got an answer. Uh, in uh, 612.07, in paragraph C, I think the intent should have been and <coughs> or uh, when it says the second notice is not complied with and the So it needs an and or an or, an or in that area. I could you Otherwise, doing one would negate the rest of the paragraph, not requiring you to do both. That makes sense, yes. Thank you. And uh, there was one other. Oh, uh, under the definition of domestic fowl, which is in 612.01, uh, it says adult chicken hens. And I guess the intent is to say that you can't have any roosters, but if you don't have any roosters, you're probably not going to have a lot of chicks. And so I don't know if that's something that is intended how it is, but that needs to be probably clarified a little better, I think. Well, I do want to one. Mr. Beer. I talked with a member of the Planning Commission because I know there's uh, absence of uh, 